Welcome back everyone. You're watching the Diary of a Dog Walker powered by Creighton Pet Services with me, Stephen Creighton. And you join us for diary entry one million, whatever it is. Who knows? But it's Tuesday, the 31st of January, and it's the afternoon walk. I'm out with the more active dogs and we're in one of the nicest locations we could possibly be in in Edinburgh today and we're going to show you that and all the sights and everything that the dogs get up to as we go around so make sure you stay with us we've got six dogs with us out today so yesterday we had five today we've got six tomorrow I think we may have seven wow but um but yeah so let me just show you the gang so um our black lab is Cardi here you go buddy hi boy hello our Labradoodle here is Barney hello kiddo Hello, we've got pa lookalike Pablo, hey boy, and Pablo's brother Max, hello kid. Border Terrier is Biscuit, Biscuit, you hey boy, yes thanks Pablo. And up ahead we've got Lottie, let's see if she'll come back to us. Lottie! See me? Good girl, good girl, look at you guys. Look at you guys. Where's Max boy? Hi. Good you guys, good. Right, so that is the team, plus myself, as I say. And uh, stay with us, we're gonna show you everything that we get up to. And I'll be back at the end to recap our day. It's gonna be a cracker. But let me just tell you, even although it looks like this, we've had today already snow, wind, rain, and it's like three degrees or something. So don't be fooled. Stay warm, get a cup of tea. I'll see you back at the end. They are wired. What has got into them? Decisions, decisions. There we go, this way or this way. And both have pros and both have cons, let me tell you. Hmm. Cardi here. This. Oh my goodness, look at that sun. Let me get some better light. If you know the routes that we take and the things that we do, we would ordinarily jump over this wall as Cardi's just shown. Go up there and follow Black Cat along and come back round on ourselves. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to go along this path and we're going to come back this way. Over where Lottie is and back over this wall. Pablo, this way buddy, this way. She's 11 year old and just hurdled that in one jump. You gotta see. Good girl. Good girl. Thank you. 
not too much of a hazard but there is a potential so on the other side of the reservoir we have a flock of sheep and this part of the world is all connected on the other side of the reservoir where we're about to head up so we need to stay alert Wow, that was brisk. That's the best way I can describe that. The wind just started about maybe two thirds of the way into the walk and it is like, it feels like it's about minus 10 degrees. I'm, I'm properly weather beaten uh, from the experience. However, great conditions for the dogs. The wind kind of drives them a little bit uh, batty, but we had the place ourselves basically and uh, they've had a good run around, they've been very responsive and our work rate was incredible we did about 4k in, in the first hour which is a real real intense pace for the dogs and uh, yeah they love that the motivation that they get from that is just brilliant and you can see it in their body language and the response rate and their alertness it's just it's just fantastic so we've enjoyed it i've enjoyed it anyway in particular i hope you guys have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching and just a quick reminder if you've not done so already click that subscribe button and make sure that you don't miss out on the rest of our walks they are pretty good fun and uh, our, our little family of subscribers is growing and it's lovely to see if you fancy dropping us a message uh, click on the comments drop us a little line let us know where you're watching from or talk about your dogs and I respond to every single one so uh, do that and we'll see you on the next walk thank you very much take care bye bye Thank <laughs> you.